Hi, Kipsters. Uh, today we are going to talk about a really interesting, uh, it's not a trick, but it's a really important uh, tool that you have in your tool belt. Because in school, you know, you take a lot of tests and sometimes you understand the concept very well, but you make a minor mistake somewhere when you add or you divide or you multiply or you subtract um, or, or divide. And then you kind of have to redo your work again to see where you made your mistake. Uh, you've heard many times me say, check over your work, check it over again, and check it over again. Uh, but here's going to be a really foolproof way for you to uh, understand if you have the correct answer or not. Uh, because when you hand it in, you want to make sure that it is error-free, that you are as precise as possible. And uh, you're never actually done with your problem unless you've actually checked to see if the answer is correct. All right? So let us talk about that. So you're being asked to add 75 and 268, and let's do that. Uh, 75 plus 268, and let's say it's 13, 14, and 3. So you get 343. So once you've done that, you say that your answer is 343, but then you're being asked to go back and check to see if your answer is correct. So how do you go back and check your work? Well, typically you would say, okay, 5 plus 8 is 13, that's 3, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 6 is 14, put the 4, carry over the 1 forward, and then you get 1 plus 2, and that's 3, and there's nothing to carry forward. So therefore, the answer is 343. However, going through all of those steps, uh, take some time, especially if you have more than just two numbers to add. So here is a quick way for you to check to see if the answer is correct. It is called using the digital sum. And we've kind of already dealt with it uh, previously when we've talked about the divisibility rules, uh, in particular with 3 and 9. So with that, it means that you just add up the sum of the digits in the number. Uh, and let's do that at first. All right, so you do 7 plus 5, and that's 12. And you want a digital sum. You do not want digitals sum. So therefore, you're going to just take your 12, and 12 can be broken down into 1 plus 2, which is 3, which is a single digit number, and that's what we want. We want a single digit number to represent our 75. It's like a stand-in, so it's a substitute number. So that'll be represented by 3. And let's add up the digital sum of 268. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 is a two-digit number, so 1 plus 6 is 7. And if all goes well, we should end up with the same number on the other side. However, uh, 3 plus 7, we're going to add these up because that's what the operation tells us to do. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 is a two-digit number, so that's composed of 1 plus 0. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So therefore, our check answer is 1. If this comes out to 1, our answer is correct. All right, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 is a two-digit number, so 1 plus 0 is 1. Therefore, this matches our check answer, and therefore, this answer is correct. Okay? That's a quick way to do it, right? All right, let's do the next problem. 532 plus 683. And right here, I'm going to make a purposeful mistake. I'm going to mess up on purpose so we can see how to check our answer. All right, so I'm going to say 2 plus 3 is 6. That's 11, and that is 12. All right, so I say my answer is uh, 1,216. Let's check to see if I'm right without going through the entire process again. All right, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1, so that's 1. Uh, that number is represented by 1. Then we have plus, uh, then we do 6 plus 8, and that's 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. 17 is two digits, so 1 plus 7 is 8. 1 plus 8 is 9, therefore our check answer should be 9. All right? Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus uh, 6 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 9 is not the same answer as 1, so I know I've made a mistake, okay? 
let's go back and rework it so we can get the right answer and then get the right check. If ever you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, and you don't get the same check answer on both sides, you know the answer is wrong. Go back and fix it. Find where, find your, your mistake. All right, so we know this is 5 now. Then we get 11, and that is 12. All right, so the answer is not 1,216. It is 1,215. Let's check that out. We've already checked this out, so we know the check answer is 9. Let's go here. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. It checks out with our 9, so therefore the answer is correct. Okay? All right. Let us move on to multiplication, because it also works for that as well. All right. Uh, let's do 12 times 15. 12 times 15. Hmm. Should I teach you the fast way to do this? Uh, yes, I should. All right, uh, take the first digit of, the, of each number and multiply that. 1 times 1 is 1. Uh, take the last digit, multiply that by the last digit of the other number, and that's 2 times t 5 is 10. So you know that you have 10 there. And then do 1 times 5 is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. Add up 5 plus 2, and that's 7. So the answer is 180. All right, uh, let me do it the traditional way just to verify. And this is what you would have been taught to do in the past. You would have been taught to do it maybe two different ways or go back and check to see if your work's right. And this is how you would check your answer. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10. Five, plus, 5 times 1 is 1, is 5, I'm sorry, plus 1 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, and you would get 180. Okay, now let me show you how to check this. We have 12 times 15 we're saying is 180. Let's see if this is actually correct. All right, so 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 1 plus 5 is 6. And what are we doing to these both these numbers? We're multiplying them because that's what the operation tells us to do. All right, 3 times 6 is 18. 18 is a two-digit number, so 1 plus 8 is 9. Therefore, we should be getting 9 as our digital sum over here as well. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 0 is 9. Yes, it checks out. This answer is correct. All right, let's go to the next one. 20 times 20. That is going to be 0, 0, it's going to be 400, okay? So 2 plus 0 is 2, and 2 plus 0 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, so our check answer is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 0 is 4, so therefore it checks out. Now, what if I were to do this and make this simple mistake? I'm going to show you how, how reliable the 9s can be, but they're not always... Uh, 100% foolproof. Let's say we said that 20 times 20 is actually 40. Now our check sum says that we should be getting uh, 4. However, if I take 4 plus 0, I also get 4. Are you seeing the problem that we run into here? The digital sum using the process uh, uh, with the 9s actually doesn't always work. Uh, it will work to give you a sense of if your answer is correct, but there's another way that you can actually uh, check to see if the actual answer is true, 100% foolproof. Um, so that is called uh, checking with the 11s. And that trick you will have to learn if you are in my class. Uh, and I hope that uh, you understand how to do quick checks of uh, multiplication and addition. It works the same for subtraction and division, but with a slight modification um, that we will talk about in class. So I hope that you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, please leave comments.